Hello everyone, Andrew here with a new backtest session. In this one, we're gonna backtest EuroSD just using the four hour structure. It's just easier to do. 100K, we are gonna do probably something more recent. So maybe last year, 2021. And uh, let's do September, okay, all the way to the end of the year. So let's do that. And then maybe we're gonna start from October because we are in October as well. GMT plus three is my plus three is my time zone forward and we're gonna start from first of October. So let's create that and see how it goes. We're gonna use one percent risk using only the four hour and the one hour time frame. So let's go over on the four hour. You can see how we are dropping right now quite a bit. So we're gonna use supply and demand zones and also candle closures. So we're gonna use candle closures to take entries. So let's see. What happens here? Price is uh, pretty pretty bearish, so nothing nothing there. We are seeing some signs of bullish pressure, but we may sell from that area. So let's wait for a one hour close, okay, in our direction, and we kind of missed it. So that just dropped immediately. I guess we can take a sell here. So let's take a sell. Uh, we're gonna use a one percent risk. We're gonna sell and have our stop loss a little bit bigger. So it's gonna be like for pips 13.9 and we're gonna aim for the low so let's see how it goes if it does play out or price does want to push up we do have this area here okay uh yeah <clears throat> oh i just that was my bad because i didn't see the time so um, that was a valid one percent loss uh i wasn't watching the time so let's wait for uh, london session right there if maybe now we can have a potential sell because we are still in that area we took liquidity so let's see if we do have a candle close we do but price decides to push up so now we need to wait for again some kind of structure on the one hour maybe a change of character and then potentially sell it since we are going into this week right here so let's see some price action the next day because this end, uh, day ended and i hope not every move happens during asia because that would be kind of bad uh we are respecting the one hour demand but i don't really trust the, the buys because looking at the four hour this just looks like it's gonna drop so we did make the one hour and four hour change of character and i do want to see a small retracement so maybe we can sell right now so let's take a sell right now we're gonna use a 10 pip stop loss and we are gonna target the low right there so that's a one to four not too too bad not too, not too great let's see if it does play out or it just stops us out again uh if it does then maybe you can look for an entry on the four hour maybe yeah let's see so the four hour right here if it does come there so far our stop loss was barely holding so let's wait let's wait let's wait a bit faster okay we are pushing down quite nice we are still just we are at the end of the day so hope price doesn't do anything weird in asia and it just continues to drop okay we have a nice drop here we are up about two percent three percent and we just hit our stop our take profit so that was nice so that was a four percent win after a one percent loss now because we made a new uh, break of structure we are gonna just go forward and wait for uh for some structure to potentially catch a buy position but for now, I don't think there is anything. I want to see some one hour and uh, one hour charge, which wasn't there yet. So let's just wait. Okay, we do have some bullish movement affecting the supply right there. So I do have this area that I, not, that I like right there, which it did barely touch it. But looking on the four hour, like four hour just looks like maybe it wants to continue down. So let's just wait for the one hour and next day because we are towards the end of the trading day. Okay, so we do come in that area. Really nice. and then we just push up okay <laughs> during next session so price is slowly turning bullish which is nice but let's see if we do come back to this area take some buys so let's just wait we do touch it so now i'm gonna go slower and see if we can get a nice entry on this one hour candle hopefully it does come down a little bit more or not okay we can potentially enter now but i think our stop loss is gonna be bigger 11 pips i think we can do it so let's see 
okay immediately to profit which is nice and let's just target uh, the four hour i want to target that doji right there because it does have liquidity above this area so that's nice so let's just target that area if price does decide to push or it's just gonna stop us out and take a one percent yeah we just stopped us out and uh I'm gonna take another buy here just because the it, it's still valid but we're gonna use a uh, 13 pip stop loss so just using four hour and one hour yeah we are coming back into the four hour even if we didn't have a change of character we did have some uh, bullish order flow on the one hour which i kind of like so we did have did have a candle closure in our direction so price let's see what it does we have a change of character on the one hour so if it comes back in then i can take another entry only if it does okay that it did there but i didn't have any time so now just playing around there so i think we can do another position and just cover this low now so let's see what happens if price stops us out or not oh, okay just stopped us out so we are back at break even but pay attention we are making a new Four hour change of characters a uh, new four hour break of structure which means that actually we did come into this, this extreme right here so let's try another buy right here in the extreme after that one hour closure that stop loss okay price does play play around that area and then just drops more so now um the next step after we are taking a loss so we are down 1.3 percent after taking a loss is just to watch order flow and see if we can catch a pullback now that we made a new break of structure so let's see we don't have news this time on the okay so that just happened so i think now it's pretty obvious that price <clears throat> wants to start trending so let's see the one the four hour fly right there how it reacts we do have a pullback in london session so london session just came now it's frankfurt but let's wait another hour that's frankfurt open and i think london open is gonna push higher looking at the at the price section probably just gonna push higher to have this flip zone right here but i don't know if it will come back there we are also in the four hour supply so we just need to see if we break it and we are pushing okay that's nice four hour looks like it's gonna charge so that's we can predict that but i i don't want to take an entry right now so let's just wait okay so that there's our entry and i'm gonna do like two percent this time because i i really liked this top hunt which is in london just uh new york just uh one um one hour before new york session so i really like that and if it comes lower i'm just gonna take another another trade we did feel the imbalance right there came right we respected you see how the candle closed just ab above the flip zone so that's a good indication that price we we'll start heading up so that's awesome we are gonna just go straight for eight percent because i do think that four hour looks like it's gonna fly from this point so let's just uh keep holding see how it reacts and that's why you need to pay attention during london open and also new york open so we are up five percent at five percent we need eight percent in total so i think price needs to push a little bit higher than that and uh yeah let's keep holding it see what happens okay price let's push we just need a little bit uh higher and there we go so that's eight percent profit so we can just last position so 108k that's eight percent that's the target for my first account just using four hour one hour and then just uh, uh pre new york there where we just spiked really aggressive liquidity was taken and then you could just execute it. and normally you can execute that on the one minute or the second so if we Go back here you can see the stop hunt the change in order flow the retracement exactly into this poi then another order flow chain price getting respected and then just start going up so that's one of the easiest trades you can uh, take and we had seven trades in total or six trades seven trades so we lost one percent we went up four percent then lost four more trades in a row and then we took a nine percent win which was a uh, two percent risk i think so yeah it was was all right he's two percent on that risk uh, on that trade because i had more confidence into the trade more confidence than ever thanks for watching that quick back test session that i did on your sd four hour and one hour structure it was a little experiment that i did because after today was nfp uh, if you are in the free telegram group you probably noticed that i did uh, see the pairs going bearish which they did for for a while uh just the market open unfortunately i want i wanted higher prices in order to sell them and they just decided to drop a little bit and now they are consolidating so if you want to see my opinion for next week don't forget to also join the free telegram group i'm gonna post my opinion and also the outlook is gonna put posted here and on youtube 
to see what opportunities we have next week. If you want to see some more backtest sessions, just let me know. I really I do them almost daily, but I just don't record them. I do them to train my skill, especially when the market doesn't give you a clean entry. So I don't trade. I just fire up the backtest software and just backtest a little bit, see how I can uh, basically trade the higher time frames because that's really important. That's uh, my, my main focus right now. So yeah, uh, just to end out this video, don't forget to join the free Telegram group and I'll see you guys in the next one.